Dahini or Dakani, Dini also spelled Dakani, Dakan and Dakani is an Indo-Aryan language of South India. It arose as a language of the Deccan Sultanate ca. 1300 AD in ways similar to Urdu. It is similar to Urdu in its influence from Arabic and Persian with a Prakrit base, but differs because of the strong influence of Marathi, Telugu and Kannada spoken in the states of Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. This dialect has a rich and extensive literary heritage. It is also the spoken form of Hindi Urdu for many people of the region to this day and is a common street language in several cities including Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Bangalore, Chennai, Aurangabad, Kurnool, Gunter, Nellar and Mangalore. Dahini is the native language of the Dahini Muslims. Overview. Dahini is spoken in the Deccan region of India. Just as Urdu developed in Lucknow, Dahini developed in Deccan Plateau parallel to Urdu with Kari Boli. The term Dahini is perhaps an umbrella for a group of dialects spoken by certain communities of Muslims in the Deccan region. Dahini was the lingua franca of the Muslims of Deccan, chiefly living in Hyderabad state including the regions ceded to the British by Nizams, and the Mysore state, covering most of Deccan Plateau and adjacent plains except for Mopla Muslims of Kerala and the Marikar, Rather and Lebai Muslims in Tamil Nadu in the south, to the Bari Bashi language and Konkani-speaking Muslims along the western coast of Karnataka, Goa and Maharashtra. Though, a minor segment of Kerala Muslims do speak the Dahini dialect and identify themselves as Dahini Muslims who follow Hanafi fiqh, Hanafi school of Islamic jurisprudence. Dakni for all practical purposes today is an oral language which is flexible enough to be visually represented by different scripts like Devanagari or Urdu or even Persian. Dahini was widely spoken across the Deccan Peninsula with subtle changes in the dialect as you go down south away from Hyderabad ending as a heavily Tamilized version around the middle of Tamil Nadu. Dahini mainly spoken by the native Muslims living in these areas can also be divided into two dialects. Topic North Dahini North Dahini is spoken in areas of former Hyderabad state, mainly Hyderabad city, Telangana mainly Nizamabad city, Marathwada cities of Aurangabad and Nanded, Hyderabad Karnataka Gulbarga, Bidar and Raichur in present-day Karnataka, minority native Goan Konkani Muslims in the Uttara Kannada district of Karnataka with some variation of Nawayath, and Goan Muslim dialect in Goa. South Dahini South Dahini is spoken along central Karnataka, Bangalore, southern and central Andhra Pradesh Vijayawada, Kurnool, Kadapa, Gunter, Nellar, etc., North Tamil Nadu, Chennai, most of North Tamil Nadu districts like Chennai, Velour, Krishnagiri, Dharma Puri, Villapuram, Taruvanamali, and scattered also in mid and south Tamil Nadu. This form of Dakani is interlaced with the native language words of the respective regions, these were the areas under the Mysore and Carnatic Sultanates. This is also the form of Dahini spoken by the minor Dahini Muslim community of Kerala. <laughs> Differences between dialects North Dahini is spoken with an added influence of pure standardized Urdu and while South Dahini draws slightly more influences from local languages, it has quite a number of original words not to be found in Urdu or Northern Dahini, with even a slightly varied grammar and sentence structuring. This particularly points towards possible signs that Dahini as a language in its own sense could have evolved from the southern parts much more than the northern variation. This dialect is used extensively in the spoken form. When it comes to writing and literary work, standard Urdu is used. Most Dahini speakers are fluent in standard Urdu, as well as Dahini, and most will put Urdu as their mother tongue on official censuses, and surveys as Dahini has not been recognized as an official language by India. History The Urdu language from Delhi was introduced in the Deccan region during Aladdin Khalji invasion in between 1295 AD to 1316 AD. It became more popular in the Deccan plateau during and after Muhammad bin Tuluk shifted the Sultanate capital from Delhi, making the city of Dalatabad the new capital in 1327 AD. 
As a revolt against the Sultanate, the Bahmani Sultanate was formed in 1347 AD with Dalatabad as its Sultanate capital. This was later moved to Gulbarga and once again, in 1430, to Bidar. The Bahmani Sultanate lasted for about 150 years, expanding to almost the entire Deccan Plateau, which was then named as Deccan. This shifting of power, moving of capitals, expansion of Sultanate collectively propagated the Urdu language of Delhi, which came to be known as Dakani and received patronage from its rulers. It was also known through other names like Hindwastani, Zabin Hindwastani, Dahalvi and Hindawi. The Sufis were the earliest to use Dakani in its written form. The earliest available manuscript on record is Kadam Rao Padam Rao a Masnavi of Fakhruddin Nizami, written during 1421–1434 AD when the Mughals took over Deccan. Many notable personalities, both secular and religious, settled in the Deccan and spread the language across borders that now form parts of Telangana, southern Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Goa. One such poet of Mughal region was Wali Dakani (1667–1707), the first established poet to have composed ghazals and compiled a divan, a collection of ghazals where the entire alphabet is used at least once as the last letter to define the rhyme pattern. Topic legacy Dahini has plenty of Turkish evolved loanwords, due to the fact that the ancestors of its people were of Malmic origin, although most of the Dahini population of Karnataka has above 90% of Dravidian genes. It is similar to Urdu in its influence from Arabic and Persian with a Prakrit base, but differs because of the strong influence of Marathi, Telugu and Kannada spoken in the states of Maharashtra, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. This language, which is often mistaken as a dialect of Urdu, has a rich and extensive literary harite, the most important being Kitab e Navras, revered for its transcendence beyond secularism, a first for India, and Kadam Rao Padam Rao, the book that created Rekta, which has since then evolved to become the heart and soul of music in India, especially Bollywood. Dahini has directly led to the evolution of what is now modern Sufism, which since then has spread throughout the world. Such was its impact that even the Mughals who had come to destroy Dahini fell in love with it. Despite it being the native language of most Muslims of the erstwhile Deccan Sultanates and later of the princely states of Hyderabad state including the regions ceded to the British by Nizams and the Kingdom of Mysore, it is also the spoken form of Hindi Urdu for most Hindus and non-Hindus of the region to this day and is the most common street language in several cities including Hyderabad, Bangalore, Chennai, Vijayawada, Aurangabad, Kurnool, Gunter, Nellar and Mangalore. Dahini is the native language of the Dahini Muslims, although there are some non-Muslims of this ethnicity as well but they are negligible. Hyderabadi people pronounce their language as Dakani and Bengali folks, not the city, but the ethnicity, pronounce it as Dakni. This includes all descendant Dahini population of the erstwhile Mysore state, although some consider themselves Mysuri. Also, people from the old Hyderabad princely state ruled by the Nizams call themselves Hyderabadi. Topic. Dahini and Hindustani Dahini, though built on a base of Qadi Boli, influenced the development of Urdu also known as Hindustani, Hindavi, or Rekta. This was achieved primarily through the continual interaction of Sufi poets, courtesans and public between the Deccan and the Mughal courts and the Qadi Boli heartland. Hyderabad was the southernmost city of North India. Noteworthy are the contributions of Wali Dakni also known as Wali Aurangabadi and Wali Gujarati, a famous poet of Dakni, who visited Delhi in 1700. He astonished the poets of Delhi with his ghazals. He drew wide applause from the Persian-speaking poets, some of whom, after listening to Wali, also adopted the language of the people, Urdu, as the medium of their poetic expressions. Prominent poets, Shah Hatim, Shah Abro and Mir Taki Mir, were among his admirers. At that time in Delhi, the court poets were composing in Persian and Arabic. For others, Braj and Awadi were the languages of literary and religious expressions. The spoken language of all was Qadi Boli. When the poets listened to Wali in Dakni language which is also a variant of Kari Boli they were struck by the fact that the spoken language of the people was capable of such rich literary expression. These events were important for they hastened the adoption of Urdu over Qadi Boli, in the early 18th century, as the language for literary and religious expression in which Dahini played the role of a catalyst. <laughs> Dahini and Hindi 
A 20th century Kerala Hindi scholar, Dr. Muhammad Kunj Medar, established Dahini as a source for modern Hindi. Dr. Suniti Kumar Chattopadhyay also maintained that it was Dahini that established the use of Kari Boli replacing Braj in the north. In fact, even the name Hindi for the language originated in the south. A Tamil, Kazi Muhammad Bihari, used the word Hindi for Dahini in the 17th century in his Sufi poem Man Lagan. Renaming Dahini as Hindi was probably a symbolic gesture by him to extend the geographical reach of this language. Classification Dahini is part of the Indo-Aryan grouping of the Indo-European languages. The Dahini language has puzzled linguists for years, and its specific classification is a confusing subject. It could be a direct descendant, or sister language of Urdu, or be a Persianization of the Marathi language. It was also declared as the national language of the former defunct Hyderabad state. Topic: Geographic distribution. Most speakers of Dahini live in the Indian region known as the Deccan. They inhabit the regions comprising the erstwhile Muslim kingdoms in Deccan Plateau viz., portions of the states of Telangana, southern Andhra Pradesh, Goa, Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu. They can be collectively be known as Dahini Muslims, and include subgroups like the Hyderabadi Muslims. Dialects. <inaudible> 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 Other than the northern, including Hyderabadi, and southern, dialects of Dahini include Savji Basha i.e. the language of the Savji community in the Hubli, Darwad, Gadig, Bijapur, Belgaum region. <laughs> Dakani film industry The Dakani film industry is based in Hyderabad, India, and its movies are produced in Hyderabadi Urdu, a dialect of Dakani. See also Hyderabadi Urdu Urdu in Aurangabad Nawayathi Kumta, Hanavar, Botkal Dahini Muslims Dakani film industry